What's up y'all? I'm Steve and today I'm going to show y'all how I like to cook one of the best kept secrets on the whole Texas coast. Y'all don't want to miss this one. Stick around. I'm telling you, some of you guys cooking redfish are messing up. You guys are throwing away the collar. That's a delicacy. If you haven't tried redfish collar, y'all got to try it. Trust me on this one. Today we're going to be smoking some redfish collar and we're going to be doing it over apple wood and the old smoke hollow smoker that I got outside. And any kind of fruit smoke goes really good on fish, at least I think, or medium body, pecan, something like that is really good. But at the end of the day, y'all, you cook it the way you like it, I'm gonna cook it the way I like it. The redfish collars that we got today are a lot bigger than you would normally see because we caught some monsters, like I said. We had a great time. These redfish, y'all, just for reference, were over 40 inches a piece. We caught three different ones, we tagged them all. 40 inches plus these are big fish so they've got big collars and it's still absolutely delicious there's a bunch of different ways you can cook it you can fry it you can bake it you can blacken it charred broil all that good stuff i like to smoke it it's really easy throw it out just like you cook redfish on a half shell and season it up the way you like it man it's good i'm gonna be using my old trusty smoke hollow smoker i love this thing y'all she's a bit dirty but man she works good Right now we're just burning off the inside of the pit and we're getting the wood chunks nice and hot so they'll start smoking for us. But we're gonna be smoking this somewhere around 200 degrees today. If you're not real familiar with cooking fish, it's pretty easy, nice and flaky is what you want. But 145 degrees with a meat probe will get you money every time. Oh, we're smoking now. So we're just gonna put some butter in a little mason jar here. We're gonna melt it up with a little bit of garlic. All right, y'all, this is a collar. This is a monster redfish collar. Typically, right here is what you would normally see, but this is just a huge fish, y'all. So we went ahead and took this entire piece. That's what it looks like. What I like to do, guys, is trim off anything you don't want on the underside of these things. Depends on how, how much care you put into cleaning it. But I like to cut off this darker stuff here. The skin on the back of these can kind of be like the silver on ribs. So I like to pull that off. Use a piece of paper towel like this, and you can just kind of pinch it and pull it right off. Next, we just score just real lightly. Don't cut it real deep, y'all. This really helps the seasoning and the smoke to get inside that fish, and it'll cook a lot more even. Before we put the seasoning on, we're gonna pat the fish dry with paper towels. We got this melted garlic butter, and we're gonna get it all in this fish. We're gonna use some good old-fashioned Old Bay seasoning and some garlic powder. They're nice and seasoned. Now we're gonna put them on the smoker. I'm going to put some foil on this top shelf here just, just for cleanup, make my grill a little bit cleaner. Now we wait. That's about where we want it. These collars are ready to come off, y'all. This looks really good. You ready to eat, man? Yes, sir. We're about to dig into this redfish collar, y'all. Smoked over some apple wood. It took about an hour, 15-ish, something like that. Our heat kind of fluctuated between 2 and 250. All right, my man. You ready to try this out? You got your fork? Yes, sir. Right here. Boom. All right, let's see what it tastes like. It's really good. What do you think? It's good. All right, I gotta get in on this action. Let me let me try. Was it done all the way? Yes. There's little bones you're gonna have to pick pick off or pick around in here. It's hard to do when you're holding the camera. This little piece here is a little tough. Now it took some really really good smoky flavor, but not it's not overpowering. I could eat that. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna eat the rest of these. So see you later, bud. No, these are mine. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're going to eat before the fish gets cold. We're going to serve it on the side with some grits because down here in the south, we love grits, y'all. So fish and grits go together like what? Uh, spaghetti meatballs. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye.